So yeah, so we got a failure here. It's the, the new test that, that we wrote. Ah, interesting, yeah. I, I didn't uh, say it, but I was sometimes wondering, there's, there's two conventions I've seen here before in tests. Like sometimes you'll write like context, like, you know, pound slugify that mm -hmm. is like the method slugify. Right. Um, they're using this like sentence thing. And I can see here now that that actually puts a pretty useful error message mm -hmm. here. So, so this, you know, constructs the error message out of these chunks here into a, into a sentence. So the util slugify method should break right now for this issue. It's, mm. you know, kind of nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, cool. So it failed. The expected was that what we're looking for, and it's good. So the actual is this thing with the extra dashes in it, which matches what the, the bug report is. So we've got now great. this automated test that represents the, the bug report. So yeah, great if you can do that. Um, I wonder if I can do this. So I was put I was putting this one four one, which is the line number that, right. that failed in here, uh, to see if I can just run that one test. And it does, it does not seem to work. So that's fine. Works in normal R spec. Uh, but. Um, you can pass. Uh, I've dealt with this in uh, mini test, and if you. pass in the name flag, like dash n forward slash. I put Tamil in the title. Uh, like should break right now for Tamil encoding issue. So then you could add Tamil there. Slash Tamil, like this? Yep. yep. And then as long as that's a regular, if that matches. Uh, oh, and you'll have to update the oh, test yeah. file to have Tamil in the should block. Yeah, and then we'll need a last thing is closing slash on the end of Tamil uh, in the. Oh, okay. It's like a regular expression. Yep, exactly. Gotcha. So that should catch it. Cool. Sweet. So that's just you know cuts it down a couple seconds. Right. Uh, so what I'm kind of interested in doing first is just like just applying this fix as suggested and seeing if that if that will fix the issue. Uh, I'm kind of hoping it will because I don't think it's very fun to debug these uh, bizarre um, regular expressions or a special expression. Like, oh gosh. Yeah. They're gnarly. Yeah. So which um, one this are one? you? So this slugify pretty regex. And then how do we know it's this one? Uh, I just remember that was the one. Oh, gotcha. Uh, that was the one that we were getting called with. Actually, I'm not, sh I'm not sure uh, now that I think about it. Oh, it was the one that looked it. like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is a little bit. A little bit different. I'm just going to grab from the mm -hmm. square bracket part here and just drop that in. Here. There we go. So we made our first change here. I'll run this and see what happens. OK, didn't work. Interesting. Okay, so that was the pretty regex thing. Um, so it's possible that this is not getting called. So we should probably go back to our slugify call site. Let's see. So mode. There's nil, mode gets set to default, and here we're not calling it with any mode. 
So go here. Uh, no, it gets reset to default. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So we were using that pretty one because it looks mm -hmm. the closest, but actually we're using the default mode. So that's just going to fall through this this switch here <laughs> to this guy. Cool. No problem. So let's back that out and then put this. Legify default regex. I've got to re grab this. So we're already kind of seeing it's not actually as. It's not as straightforward. Uh, so it looks like he was running the, the uh, this deepest blue person was running uh, the pretty mode if they were expecting mm -hmm. this to happen. So that's not really listed. So we need to probably dig a mental note about that. Because if we change this one, then the pretty one is still going to have the same underlying problem with the, this al num thing not matching right. this, this weird thing. Uh, let's try this for now. See if we can get it. You want some confidence that making this change will actually do anything. Hey, did something. <laughs> then it didn't return anything. Different. Yeah, let's did I copy paste this in a weird way? No, I don't think so. Is not oh maybe it's this. I know I have the knot in there. I see. Could just could just be not working. Um, let, let me look back at this ticket here, this Stack Overflow comment to see where we kind of got this from. Maybe it just didn't get. Mm -hmm. uh, pasted over there correctly. If you want to mention any letter, you should use the slash p blah 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 thing. So let's see if we can make maybe a smaller change and see if it does. Great. What we want? Oh, hmm. I don't know if this is actually uh, what we want, anyways, because this is adding these other special characters, and in the default one, it doesn't doesn't strip those out. That was only in the the prettier one. Hmm. Unclear if uh, that will matter. So uh, ultimately, it's it's this bit that's causing the problem. So I the think from, out -num bit. yeah. So I think if we if we you know if we replace just this part with um, something like this, we can see if we can make any progress. So I'll just grab this bit. So instead of doing this alnum thing, we'll do this bit. And if we go too much further and they're still not having this work, we probably need to start looking up what these things actually do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you grabbed everything inside of the slashes in that Stack Overflow post, and then you're popping it yeah. in there. Yeah. And so we're still not getting anything. I'm kind of curious, uh, you know, if we put some non-special characters in here, what would happen? Like, are we just completely... Like throwing yeah, away weird. all... Everything's all like, it. everything's getting getting removed instead of, you know, how it was working before. Let me back out and see what would that do normally. Yeah. Okay, well, we at least are, like, uh, you know, while it's not working, when we change stuff, it, it yeah. you know, things happen. So we're at least in the right um, the right spot here. Oh, yeah. What I would probably do uh, now is um, go in here and probably just drop a breakpoint, and we'll just kind of play around with it so we can iterate a little bit faster than changing this and changing cool. um, 
test files. So let's just go uh, right into here. Let's do this. I'll try binding.pry and see if that works. I may need to install pry. I don't know if it's in this project. Undefined method pry. Um, I think I can probably install it globally. So it's a little tricky if I want to add pry, which is just a gem that lets you put breakpoints. Uh, mm -hmm. And I should actually at some point look this up because I think in some of the newer Rubies, there's something similar built in that maybe will work. Uh, the same for I've heard of something like pry by bug or or it seems I've used I use pry all the time if you said you can do yeah. your job but not with pry I'd have to just like back out of the situation uh, yeah this is this is annoying I, I was trying I to do, install I had to yeah. require it as well so I have a just a keyboard shortcut if I type oh, pry tab yeah. it does require pry semicolon binding pry I am probably too used to working in Rails that just automatically loads everything. It's there all the time, yeah. Um, that's what I was getting now, too. Of it I missed it, add command. I wonder if it's because we're it can't make replaceable character like a Maybe we put it in the wrong, well, I'll know in a moment. Nope, that didn't do it. And it shouldn't be. This is just like an incomprehensible error here. Undefined method error for add command error. Require. So like requiring pry was causing it. Let's just do like a IRB breakpoint without. I, I think there's some magic thing that in newer rubies debugger. Let's try that. My understanding is that Pry has a lot of very advanced features that this debugger thing um, doesn't have, but I don't, I don't think we really need anything too advanced. Yeah. yeah. Keep copy pasting from Stack Overflow until we get something that works. Cannot load Ruby debug. Hmm. Ah, okay. Let's try this one. Binding .rb. There we go. Hey, I got the same thing. Beautiful. So, uh, not as fancy. Nope. Not color coded, and there's probably a bunch of magic stuff that we can't do. But I think all we really are looking for is this this terminal here. Yeah. Okay. So string. We got our string, which is um, good. This is our test input, so uh, that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of that just to make sure nothing bad's going to happen. If we. Yeah. Okay. So replaceable character. No, it doesn't look like it auto completes as nicely. Mm. Placeable character. Mode. So just checking some of our assumptions a little bit. We had assumed that mode was default. It is cool. Placeable character is just that alpha. So it's going and grabbing the regular expression constant set at the top of the file. Yep. And returning that. All uh, it all makes sense. Let's see. Shrink that further a second. Okay, so it's just calling g sub, which is going to take the regular expression and replace that with. Uh, with the dashes. So we should be able to fiddle with. With this now and, and put in you know whatever we 
whatever we want into here. Mm -hmm. So uh, okay. Let's go back and start trying some of these. Oh, and this could even now that we're down, like I use Rubular. Do you use like would you this is uh, I was like, oh I'd throw in Rubular now where you could just like pass in your have you used Rubular? No. I oh, think it's amazing. I, is that's, I know there's like a web version of it, I think. Rubular.com. This thing? Yep. Yeah. So you can pass in your. There's uh, like a, a gem or something to use, or you just. Nope, you I just pass input straight in here into the test string. So I'd like stick the, if this would be an appropriate use of Rubular, ta pass oh, the yeah, test yeah. string in there. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, see what we can Because then hash. you can sometimes see, especially because regular expressions are so darn sensitive. You can be like, oh, yeah. I, it'll like iteratively match. Uh, as we go. Yeah, and this is good because I think it helps us visualize where we're we're uh, we're not seeing. Oh, so this actually is not the. I pasted the wrong thing as our test string. We don't uh, want the dashes. Oh right, you want it just uh, without the spaces, or I'm sorry, yeah. with spaces, hoping that they come into dashes later. Yeah. Oh, and this actually makes sense because uh, it well, kind of makes sense. It's highlighting some things, but then <laughs> I post. I would, I, go ahead. I pasted in maybe a different whatever was on my clipboard last with Tamil characters, and yeah. I can see the regular expression matching on the O's, or it's matching on something. Um, not yeah, it, not something good. like that. Yep. Yeah. So that looks like oh, that's maybe maybe when correct. I yeah maybe when I um, copied this out of the, like the terminal it got mm -hmm. it got weird. Yeah. 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 Because we would expect uh, two su character substitutions here, and instead the string kind of implies that yeah. there would be one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So this one's good, and this one's good. It's these other weird ones with little O things. Uh, looking yeah. to see if that O thing was something on here, but yeah. yeah. And just because I mentioned Rubular, don't feel constrained to use it. Oh, no. I've, I, I would, I've used this before. OK. Uh, thank you for bringing it up. I would have yeah. uh, flown around in here for, for a while. Anytime someone's like, regular expression, I'm like, let's just assume I don't know what I'm doing. and hand it off so I can like start seeing like it is matching something. Yeah. Which means I didn't miss like the trailing closing bracket or something. Show invisibles. I was wondering if that would toggle off these these things. Mm. So yeah, so this is good. Uh, this is uh, definitely a quicker feedback loop than we're going to get here uh, typing and, mm -hmm. and running. But yeah, so this is interesting. We can try, let's just try. So yeah, I, I think I think trying to paste all this is going to be a little bit of misleading because at least the default regular expression stuff doesn't doesn't do all the special characters. So we probably right. should try to isolate it down into this bit here before the, the dash. So yeah, we can try this. Let's see. So that's Promising. So that actually looks like it's uh, working because it's only highlighting out this extra space. Um, this end, like end of the string character, I think is fine. Maybe. I'm curious if we yeah. paste this in here. Hmm. So that looks right. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder what was happening when we were pasting before that making it not look right. Uh, do we have too many? This whole thing. Now let's get out of here and try this again. Maybe something else is going on. Dropped, 
did you because you dropped that in the what we had in Rebuilder, did you put that into the slugify default regular expression? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Obviously, I meant that. Well, this is, I can see why uh, Pry is a little nicer. It doesn't keep my history of uh, commands yeah. that, were, that were typed. Hmm. That does look like it uh, did not. That was the Tamil input, right? OK. Huh. What? I'm just checking this here with that. Yeah, that's a uh, head scratcher. Look if I default regular expression such and such dot freeze. So we got D, the character D. <laughs> I would say this would count as a regression. Yeah, <laughs> Fixed it. I, <laughs> Everything is dash D. Yeah, no, it'll be interesting to see what the fix is. Like this is the kind of thing that I'm like, wait, it seemed like it seemed like we were on such the right path. What the heck is this? I feel like uh, there's something around the these square brackets that were like I, I'm pasting into the wrong place or something. On some right. of these. It's annoying. I think it should be fine now. So we're gonna square bracket around with a plus to match. Uh, is that one or more? One or more, and we're nodding it. We're saying not this funky Stack Overflow magic. So I guess we could look through. Maybe there's some like regular expression settings that are different in in. G sub here that mm. are not are not matching what Rebular is using. That is that's a good point. That is strange here. Uh, I mean, there's no usually this is where you stick the like, right, like case global. insensitive options or things like that. Hmm. Maybe there's some other like strange encoding stuff. I'm thinking because when I, like when I when we pasted this in here, uh -huh. um, is there anything weird? No, just no line at the end. It's weird that it grabbed the D. Yeah. Uh, here, let's. See, I'm, I'm wondering if that's like, it's definitely not what I wanted to do. I wonder if that's like grabbing the D out of this ASDF thing or that's something. Yeah. Like there's this weird lowercase D in the regular expression, but I don't think that has anything to do with it. When I do it, so manually. Instead of ASDF, if I just, you know, Hey, 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 gets nothing. I just built it manually in the yeah. terminal prompt. Maybe you had already did this. I've been kind of like looking between two things where I yeah. did string.g sub and then just pasted in the regular expression from Rubular and it worked. Yeah. Had you, I think you had maybe already done that even. Oh, um, instead of using replaceable yep. character here? Yep. That's. So that strange, kind of then. further. So paste in this. Yep. 
and then add the forward and leading slashes. So forward yep. slash paste, forward slash comma, and then the, yeah, now close it out and that worked. Um, except I got one, maybe we have slightly different starting strings. I got one that only had one slash in it or one hyphen between uh, ASDF yeah. and everything else, but I might have a different starting string. So what is the, maybe this, I mean, we're constructing it slightly different. I feel like I'm slowly going insane here. So that doesn't work. Weird. But there's no perceivable difference. Yeah, so we're calling, I mean, so the difference is we're using the, like, the inline, like, regular expression notation here, whereas mm -hmm. in here, we're making a regular expression object, and then, mm. I mean, freezing it, I don't, wouldn't think does anything. Uh, so that's weird. I don't, I don't know offhand of any reason why that would be different. Um, I could do a quick search. Reg XP dot new versus it's gonna be hard to search. Yeah. Uh, for this slash Just stuff. Takes to the docs. Yeah, we can look here and see if there's anything. So we're trying with this literal or the new constructor. Okay. Anything in the new constructor? Maybe a string or regular expression and new options may be specified. Okay, so you can pass options. Mm -hmm. We're not we're passing, not passing options. options. Yeah, I just was scrolling up and saw this, this like all these slash things mm. here. And then I'm thinking- Which is, yep, close to what we're- is, Yeah, here's our slash P and then M, capital M, mark, mark, yeah. So all this is the Unicode stuff which was in that original stack overflow of like this was a non-space thing so interesting so i wonder if there's something about using the new constructor that doesn't like make these work so it's tra treating them as like as literals or or something yeah um because this is in the like character properties uh, I don't know what I thought clicking that was going to do. <laughs> Character properties. I wonder if there's like an option we need to pass to it to make it work. But I'm really surprised that it's working here. Yeah. Uh, Um, there's a section, I don't know, it says after the Unicode stuff, it says, lastly, backslash P curly brace matches a character's Unicode script. The following scripts are mm -hmm. oh, um, And yeah, there's Tamil. So maybe, I don't, yeah, now anything seems relevant to me now. Uh, regular versus reg XP new. JavaScript, but this is roughly <laughs> what we're we're seeing here. Yeah, yeah, the constructor versus the literal. Is this actually? Let's see. I, mean, I don't want to spend too much time looking at a JavaScript answer, but this is probably a, a better phrasing of the, the query. Right. Minus JavaScript.
Oh, you know what? I don't, well, tell me if you think this is relevant. Again, in the um, regular expression that we pasted in, and when we define it in the like line 16 mm -hmm. of the class, we're escaping the p's consistently um, mm -hmm. in the pasted version. And then when you call the default regular expression, like uh, where it's being applied to the g sub, the p's oh, it's are no not shown. being escaped. Interesting. So that makes me wonder more about that mode thing that we were looking at. Options. Yeah, I'm just looking at this thing here. It says, you know, all constructor features are accessible via literals, which is what I'm, you know, used to. If you put, you know, the slash i at the end, extended. Interpolate only once. So, I mean, that that may be a useful path to to look down here. We can say like regular expression uh, dot new Ruby um, escape. <laughs> Some of this stuff is really hard to search for. Yeah, escape special characters. Let's, actually, let's look at this bit here in the docs because, like, they're not doing anything special with these. Okay, new options. Options, it should be extended, ignore case, multi line. Ord together. <laughs> Reading this, I'm like, man, Ord. does this mean something yeah. to somebody? Yeah, it's this here, oring it. Uh, we can do a brief dive, and probably what that is is these are like, it's like a, it's like a bit mask or something where you're like oring together things to like efficiently combine them. It's uh, okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> one of the things that's not a. Not worth putting a ton of time into. Let's let's try like I just want to try throwing this extended thing on here just to just to see because this is I thought this would be an interesting issue to fix because it seemed like we could you know get through it pretty easily and show the whole right. process and it's turning into an interesting one because of uh, just weird because it seemed the initial is like oh great we've got, so a, we've got a failing yeah. test we've got a regular expression that works like good to go. Um, yeah. So that tacked the X on, but it's and do you know what the a, X means? That that means to use extended mode. Oh. Um, okay. Uh, and that extended then, mode yeah. I assumed was uh you know fancy features or something. Yeah. So that, so that wasn't it. I'm not I'm not sure if that escaping like we could try like double Oh. Huh. So I see here they're double escaping this. I was going to say maybe we have to double escape it. Uh, or maybe I see a mix of doubles and singles. Yeah. I've been using doubles. And you've been using singles? Yes. Hmm, bummer. That means <laughs> I'm not optimistic about that improving things. So you you were putting in um, the 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 uh, doubles. Yeah. yeah. See, was... mine now mine mine now has it there oh. when we do this. Wait, and you just drop doubles around the Slugify default regular expression. Yeah. Oh, in you here... double. Okay, I'm sorry. I was looking at the uh, quotation marks. You're double escaping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, double slashes. Oh, so that seems like that could do. Does this do what we want then? That looks like. Heck it. yeah! And wow, that test. was that was something. Okay. Well. 
Interesting. Pull that out. So a long rabbit hole that we went down. But basically, the, the answer did work. It just had to do with the escaping on this. Yeah. Which is unfortunate and hard to know. I mean, none of this documentation here, obviously, is talking about escaping, but you right. don't need to escape it in the context of this literal notation. Right. Um, That's interesting. But maybe knowing, like, the meta principle can be like, oh, if you see, like, you know, the evaluated regular expression is deficient in some capacity yeah. compared to what you expected it to be, that is kind of like a, someone waving a little bit of a flag that's like, hey, look into escapes. Yeah, I think I think you actually had the key insight there of of checking what it was like. We were kind of uh, not exactly inspecting what it was running. We were saying like, oh yeah, I put this in here, and we tried that, and it worked, but we didn't actually look at you know what that replaceable character right. thing was. And then right. uh, yeah, when you spotted it, that was different. That was a good uh, good rabbit hole to to go down. Cool. Cool. All right. So, so the test passes now. So the test passes. So we at least know how whole... to how to make this work, we think. And I'm running the whole test suite now and it still yeah. passes. Yeah, I mean I think there's there's maybe an argument to make here that this is not necessarily a breaking change or that like, well, if the test suite passes, then like swapping this behavior out uh, maybe doesn't have much of an impact on existing sites, but I think that's probably not going to fly on a pull request, but that's something we yeah. could uh, maybe have a discussion 